All right, back to my RPG. And uh, by the way, fuck you, I'm not a chill. <laughs> <laughs> um, here's the thing, let me, let me just see. Uh, fuck, we missed some. You guys can repost things that are above Game Face Lin's, Lin's comment above about Mars Before Sunshine. Anything above that you can repost because it scrolled off our screen and we can't get it back if you want us to comment on it. Uh, Lin says, hoping for the Mario game to be Mar like 64 or Sunshine. Um, I kind of do too. Galaxy was fun, but we had two of them were kind of galaxied out. Yeah. And Mario 3D World was great, but you can't just keep playing, making multiplayer focused Marios. You gotta have like a good, meaty platforming experience at some point. I do want to see that too. I, I agree with you. Um, the new Mario game called Mario Switch, you'll hear it here first. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know what, like, what kind of avenue could they go down? They've already gone to the fucking stars, for God's sake. Yeah, but they could just do, like, another straight up collect 120 stars platformer just with more advanced levels and stuff. So. Like, Make like, what, a, like new Mario Brothers or you or whatever the fuck. No, 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 no. Like Mario 64 or Sunshine. No, but they're just going to do that. Yeah. They're just going to take I wouldn't mind that, honestly. We haven't had a, a game like that since Sunshine. It's been like 10 I years. I think, I just feel like the actual environment itself, I'd have to, I'd have to see how, what, well, how, they how, showed, how far they go. Because like, they I, showed like, like a snippet done, of footage from it and it's so like, it's like Mario or like, like a desert town and it looks like a regular 3D Mario. And I'm like, okay, this, this looks cool. But that was like, the fucking Switch is like this hipster girl who's like playing Mario. And on then like, a rooftop or and something? Then, and then like her, her friends yell out from like across the way on her rooftop, come on over. It's like the Switch is a console for when you're a hipster and you just want to play Mario Brothers, but your rooftop friends are having a party and you got to go over. So you don't want to look too asocial. You just, <laughs> so you bring it with you and then yeah, you make like, them play. Here, here's, here's the thing. I don't know what, what the Switch demand is going to be like, but I want to do a release night show of the Switch. I do know, like our town doesn't do much in terms of midnight releases, but I do know that they will be doing one for new consoles at the very least. So I want to be able to go and get a Switch that midnight and then do a show of it. A stream. Uh, I don't mind doing it, man. I don't give a fuck. I'll stream at midnight. If no one else is here, I'll fucking do it by myself. I'll do that shit. Yeah, I mean, I assume like you're going to be here because it's going to be past March now. Like, what do you got going on? A couple exams in April and then summer. Like... My March is gonna be incredibly, incredibly busy. No, no, it's gonna, it's gonna be past March. You said it, Switch was delayed, as well. No, 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 no. I, no, no. I think, I think it was also delayed too. I, I saw that. Was it? I think so. I don't recall that. I recall, I recall. What, when, was, Breath when, when was Breath of the Wild being delayed to anyway? They're not sure. Okay. That was really based on world culture. People get triggered over it. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> right, probably. Wait, first time playing this game? Um, no. <laughs> No, that's a new guy. Hey, new guy. What's it? What's it? Allander BF. How's it going, dude? Allander BF. I haven't seen you here before, but you're welcome to hang out with us. Yeah. I, I have a Mario Player's Guide, so even if we did suck at this game, we'd be okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, uh, I played a Do few you guys times. have a GameStop? Dude, stuff, uh, Canada doesn't have GameStop. We, we have Electronics Boutique, which is. Yeah. Isn't that uh, owned by GameStop? Electronics now? Boutique is basically GameStop's Canadian brand. It's owned by GameStop, and it is this exact same thing as a GameStop, with the exact same shitty business practices. Yes, but here's the thing, like, you, here's how it was. <laughs> OMG, he's like, are you excited about the player's guide, dude? It's fucking awesome. When, when these videos go up, because we, we, we stream and we and post it to YouTube later, when these videos go up on YouTube, every time I read a caption from this, I put it in the video. Really? I edit it in, yeah. I, 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 got, I got like a scan of the, of the guide and I put it in the video so you can oh, actually right, see. Right, yeah, yeah. 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 I, I, I like scan the guides page and I'm like, okay, here's what I read. You can actually see it for yourself. EB Games used to be most American. They just disappeared. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. GameStop bought them out and they changed them all the games. To GameStop, so yeah. Except Canada but, somehow. Yeah, Canada still has. They still have, at least they have some of the EBs. Yeah. And uh, that's why we have two EBs here. Like Sludgebury. Sludgebury? That's what everyone calls it. Yeah. Um, Fuck, but yeah, man. So many volus. Nah, just just, just <laughs> Vol right. voluses. The voluses. I just I miss I miss Mass Effect so much. <laughs> we'll get back to it soon. Um, but yeah, yeah, guys. Uh, here's what happened with like um, the Wii's and the in the Wii U's in my experience. You'd like go into EB and they'd be like, "You gotta pre-order it, man. You gotta come ahead like at least a week because you wanna get limited stock." And they're just being shitty about it. Then I just like went down to fucking Walmart down the street and they had like a billion of them. Yeah. 
So like that's why a lot of those those stores just went out of business because they're they're shady as fuck. Yeah. Malls went down from having two stores like to having one. Yeah. Fuck malls, dude. Um, but yeah, so I'm like thinking, do I really, cause I don't want to miss the Switch. I want to do a release night show on the stream of the Switch. But I'm like, do I really need to, do, do I really need to pre-order? Do I really need to? It's, there's probably going to be Switches in our local Walmarts and shit. Oh yeah. Guaranteed. No, yeah. The, the, yeah. the, the, the gaming section in the Walmart is as, it's as big as an EB, as an EB now. Like a full EB, yeah. Yeah. The yeah. only thing is all their stuff is, is newer and EB to new stuff to an extent. And even then it's not even that great. EB has like a lot of uh, a lot of um, plushes and shit too. Yeah. Like that shuffle. There's a, sh a shuffle plushes behind the couch off screen here, and half of that stuff came from EB. Like I'm looking at it right now. Um, the the Mega Man, the Pikachu, and the Kirby, and the Gengar came from EB. The the Sonic, the Elcor. The new and the tingle we bought online. The Freddy was sold at EB, but I missed it. They sold out, and then I bought it online later. Um, and the um, the Mr. Saturn we made ourselves. And then oh, there's also Naomi's uh, Charizard up there. Good times. GameStop is still in business. I don't know how. Here's the thing. GameStop basically, one, they stopped selling PC games because Steam fucking destroyed them. And, yeah. two, and two, <laughs> I wonder why. And two, GameStop has been bleeding money because people just don't like this shit anymore. So now they're selling a bunch of merch. Merch is their new big thing. Yeah. The first Wii was sold almost everyone released. The Wii U was everywhere. It's all based on Nintendo decides to market it all. Yeah, it's true. Oh, the plush Elcor. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't, didn't we show you the, the plush I Elcor? We showed you that. Yeah. Then we, we got. Here's the thing. You see this side of the couch over here, where, where the where the the, 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 the bomb and the question block are. We put plushes and or other merch right there anytime we do a let's play of any game. We try to have something for every game. So we, we were, do, were doing a Mass Effect playthrough on the channel right now. So we have a plush Elcor. And he actually talks too. He does. He has like a talking it's, voice box in him. terrible. And he's but, like, yeah. He's like, <laughs> well, how does it go anyway? Oh god, I don't even remember. Please stop talking me. <laughs> <laughs> Distress sounding voice. Yeah. <laughs> Desperately. Anyway, I'm, I'm gonna open up the guide here and check out what's going on with Barrel Volcano, okay? We've been talking about too yeah, much non Mario I'd appreciate shit. it if you actually looked a little bit in this stuff. Okay, too. okay, okay, okay. Let's see. Have you met Hinopio yet? No. Just past the chamber of the Stumpet and up some steps, you'll find an odd looking fellow named Hinopio. Hinopio runs an item shop. An inn and an armor shop in the heart of the volcano. You must get a lot of fucking business. All of it. Here you can purchase the ultimate in thermal protection, otherwise known as the fire garments. In the item shop, you can pick up extra mid mushrooms, maple syrup, pick me ups, able juice, and freshen ups. Sounds good. I have 1200 hours on Mass Effect combined, yet I still watch Mass Effect content as well as play it. The game never gets old to me. We haven't really gotten too far in no. Mass Effect. Where are we in Mass Effect? Um, we... we we just became uh, specters. Yeah, we yeah. we haven't even really picked up Garrus yet. No, <laughs> we're so so not that far. We've been kind of fucking around a bit on the Citadel. Yeah. So, um, but I, I totally get what you mean. I I've, I've sunk a lot of hours in that. But... I wish someone sold a sorry flashlight. Just spray paint it blue, dude. Yeah. Uh, I I can't read that name. It's yellow. A launder BF, is that it? Yeah. A launder BF? Well, a launder BF apparently likes Bano Barrel Volcano yeah. and is orgasming at it. It's like, oh, 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 fuck. Because we're getting to those, those sweet rangers. We're a little over halfway through in Mass Effect game face line? You, you playing Mass Effect right now? I have to assume that Mass Effect is something that you probably wouldn't play on, on game face. Like, your channel doesn't seem to play that those kind of games. I noticed like like BLG and, and Game Face are very similar in their content. They play like retro games a lot. They play a lot of Nintendo, just like a lot of Nintendo stuff, and old and new. Yeah. Like they seem like, this isn't me denigrating you guys. I love, obviously I love both your channels. I fucking, you know, hang out with you guys and shit and I want to do more stuff with you guys. But you guys seem to be very like Nintendo focused and retro focused. 
yeah. you know? Meanwhile, our channel is like, we just play everything. Literally play everything. Yeah, we just play all the things. Call me Alan. Okay, okay I can do that, dude. Running through the Citadel Spring, random gunfire, no one gives a shit. Yeah, kinda, just like, oh! <laughs> is it true you can play? Yes, you can, you can play without without getting Garrus. You can play without getting anybody, can't yeah, you? Yeah, um, well, sort of. You, well, you kinda need, you have to have someone on your team. But, yeah. Like, fucking oh, you love the music of Barrel Volcano. Yeah, it's like one of the best tracks in the game, I think. Yeah. It's, it's catchy. You got this sense of beat urgency. You know. Yeah, I, I, I can hear it, Dev. <laughs> I thought you were deaf in your ear. I thought you're still getting over your deafness, Dave. Yeah. Well, I thought you have an ear infection. I do. It's the other ear, so I don't have to hear you in this can, one. Can you hear me do the, do the music? <laughs> Ow, ow. <laughs> so Dev, how's it feel getting oh. hit, getting hurt in the area while you're feeling weak? Ass. <laughs> yeah, I was in I was in the hospital last week, guys. Uh, I, I had a colic and it was destroying my intestines, and I had to you know, eat some pills to get it get it under control. Uh, yeah, that's that's basically the, the short shortest version. Oh, you can you, yeah, you, you can skip Rex. No, yeah. hold on. Lynn says he, that she wants to like stream. Mass Effect. That'd be cool. Yeah, like Max, Max, get, Max gets bored watching you play. I kind of feel like that's probably Max's personality based on what I know about him. Yeah, that like certain games, he's he just doesn't like. I'm surprised. Well, no, because well, Max is, from what I can tell, like I don't, I don't, I don't know Max like intimately or anything. Like we're not like we're best pals, but <laughs> well, from uh, what I can tell about Max, like <laughs> having having talked to him and done some videos with him and like all all this stuff, Max seems like the kind of guy. Who is a bit particular about the games he plays? They they probably have to be like JRPGs or like retro games or like Nintendo bright and colorful games, you know, or like Overwatch also quality. But Overwatch is very bright and colorful. Yeah. Like I don't necessarily see Max like diving into, for example, like Fallout 4 or something. I feel like there's there's a, a type of game that that he probably wouldn't like and, and and obviously wouldn't go on the Game Face channel. And the same with. BLG's channel. I even asked Ian, like, Ian, are you gonna do a Fallout 4 back when Fallout 4 was new? Mm -hmm. He's like, you need to do Fallout 4 on BLG. And he's like, it's not my kind of game. I like bright, colorful, like, kind of like whimsical games. It's you escapist know? escapist type. Yeah. Game. Yeah. yeah that's, that does make a huge difference. Yeah. Meanwhile, I'm, I mean, I like almost all kind of games. And I, I would let's play or stream every single game because I like them all. I'm, I I'm just like a pure Renaissance gamer. <laughs> I'm a renaissance game. Fuck off. <laughs> Abuse on stream. Abu yeah, you can't sure, skip Rex. Yeah. Sure, it gets cold where we live. He wants some maple. Oh my god, someone got arrested for, for smuggling maple syrup. Yeah, <laughs> I remember that shit. That just happened recently, eh? Yeah, it was like last week. <laughs> was it, it wasn't in our town, was it? Oh, I know it was come back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were smuggling maple syrup. That's fucking ridiculous. There's no maple farms around here. <laughs> Only in goddamn Canada, man. Yeah, dating sims too. That's not entirely true. Um, Vermont has a lot of maple. Max and... Uh, uh, Game Face and BLG both do uh, uh, both do dating sims I've seen on their channel, and they're usually pretty funny. Okay. Oh god, this is gonna get really offensive. Look, look at this clown! Look at this fucking clown! Is he? Is he like? Oh, he, he, you know what he looks like? He's, he's like a squat toad with like a biker mustache yeah. and like a a mom heart tattoo on his bicep. Right. Hey there. Well, I thought I heard footsteps for a minute. I thought I was nuts. I'm an opio. This place is a regular inferno. Come step inside. Maybe I can actually spend. I can actually spend my money mm -hmm. from the item shop. I don't need that yet. I definitely need the pants and stuff first. Welcome to the end. Wait, is this guy a cameo? What? Well, I'm gonna read his bio in the in the in the thing. Hinopio moved out of the Mushroom Kingdom long ago to set up shop for himself here in the Barrel Volcano. He has a little bit of everything you need in his shops, but he also has things that you don't need, like the model airplanes and the stack of crates. This groovy guy want, runs the worst inn in the game, making you sleep on a bed of crates if you stay the night. Yep. Even the music in the Hino Mart has a different sound from the rest of the game. What does it all add up to? Buy what you need, because th the Caesar Dragon is just ahead. In particular, stock up on mid mushrooms and maple syrup. Okay. Yeah, the music is a remix of level one too. Yeah. He's like, oh, he's like runs between the, the desks. Oh, oh fuck. Oh. <laughs> yeah, man. 
He's, he's on his bike. It's an <laughs> invisible bike. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, what, what time are we at? We're at 14, no big deal. No bigs. No biggies. All right, so let's get rid of this and this and this and this. And this. Oh god, my first time playing through this game, I didn't know what the fuck I was doing because I was a kid. And I sold the, the lazy shell armor thinking it was useless. Oh, you stupid bastard. <laughs> <laughs> the cameo is his ship collection. Really? Okay, I don't need that many bracers. In fact, I don't really give a shit about the bracers because I'd rather have. I see it. One, two, three. Oh. I think we're good, man. Oh, um, yeah, we have full fucking coins. I think I'm gonna buy get, something. I, I'll probably buy royal Surf. Why are you selling when we have full coins? Because I don't care. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, dude, you just sold the max mushrooms. The exact same that you think that you just fucking. You, oh my god. <laughs> What a, what a fucking farce. Shut up. <laughs> nice job, David. Thank you. You're, you're, you're a true American patriot. <laughs> I'm a Canadian patriot. I bought all that maple syrup. <laughs> <laughs> I am a real American. Actually, why do I need all these healing items anyways? Think about it. Like, I never fucking use them. You don't. You, you just sell them all. You usually just use peach, right? Yeah. You just use peach as shit. I'll keep a couple of the max ones on hand. You need you need the syrups for I need for the her syrups MP. and I yes. need and I need pick me ups. Yeah. I'm like fucking Yoshi cooking. I don't know about the Yoshi cooking thing. And again, this, okay, yeah, we need that. You need that for for, for, the, for the Q-Lex Q-Lex. door. Yeah. Cool. I, I call I just just get out of here, man. I think we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're, I we're might good. um I might buy some. Oh, let's check out his. Uh, I'll buy a couple more pick me ups and I'll buy another maple syrup. There you go. I think he's he's. Alan says check out. We have, we have a guy in the show named Alan, it's gonna be a bit confusing. He's a, he, he, Alan in the chat says check out the, I'll get everything ready for you. I'm gonna call you Len. <laughs> Len. You, you should just or no, use Pe Peach's shit to heal. Peach just takes a giant steamer on you. Yeah, that's exactly So it. here, we got the R-Wing, which is cool. Uh, the the F-Zero, the Blue Falcon. Blue Falcon and... What the fuck is that? It's probably, it's probably the fucking, what's his name? There's a, there's like a, there's like a, the owls from from Kirby Superstar. It's probably no, it's probably it was a samurai. Girl. What the hell? Is samurai this? girls racer? Yeah, it's probably it's it's probably the two two F zero and, and the Arrowing. I don't know, man. It's like what else is that? Seriously, I can't I can't place it. <laughs> I I don't know, dude. That's Samus. Oh, that's it's Samus's gunship. Oh fuck. Ma 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 ma. Okay. It's the way it's designed like that, because I thought Samus' ship was a little more saucer-like. It's on an angle, right? It's on a 45. Yeah. It's an isometric Well, it's game. also isometric, and it's in a like, low-resolution environment, so uh, it doesn't help. Wrong way, wrong way. So what? The, the way to the next part is through his shop. It's down in the bottom. Give me, give me, give me. See down there? Yeah. All right. And here we go. He's like, hey, I'm going to follow you. I've been alone for so long. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this guy here? You think this? Okay. Well, you know. Okay, hold on. There's there's the lab ah. bridge. There's like a very like. It's just like a. There's oh. no more. There's no more like uh, diversions in the road. It's just like a straight run to the boss, but it's super hard. There's tons of enemies oh, and shit. Ah. Oh. Yeah, I recall this. Oh. It's okay. Once we get to the boss, I'll read off the the Caesar Samus Dragon's and intro. Person is sleeping right now in Washington in the guest room. Oh yeah, that's yep. right. Because there's Samus, Samus in there, and then uh, Link was in what Rose Town. Link was in Rose Town. Yeah, taking a snooze. You snooze, you lose. Mario's butt is flaming. Well, that's not the only thing. Imagine like Square Enix tries to assert that they own Legend of Zelda and uh, and Metroid because of the, the cameos in this game. <laughs> Nintendo would destroy it. Yeah, <laughs> actually, that reminds me. Um, when Microsoft bought Rare, yeah, like Microsoft exec strolled in as like, we own Donkey Kong now, right? <laughs> it's like you fucking idiots. That's I'm why, pretty that's sure why, that's why business should. I'm should, pretty sure should Nintendo should just like kept it quiet and just let them think that. It's like, yeah, buy Rare for a million dollars. Ah, fucking sink kill. Oh what? Oh yeah, migraine does that. Well, they don't really do that in real life. I have a Lincoln join. Well, they might. If it's if it's indicative of a, of a greater cause. <laughs> <laughs> if she's she generating a lot, just gotta give her a, a shroom. Oh, yeah, man. You're just gonna rest it up. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, you can thanks. always come back, you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank God. Yeah, how much does it cost to actually sleep here? 
30 coins. How much does a, does a mid mushroom cost? I don't know. Welcome back, Lynn. Who was on the phone with you? Wasn't that a cushy bed? Where does he sleep? Probably, <laughs> probably in the same place. He probably spoons you when you're asleep. <laughs> I don't even know why I did that. I wish Link was in our party. Fuck. There are like some nights when I ask Naomi to be the big spoon and I just fart into her. <laughs> yeah. Probably because you're a bad person. It's a good time. <laughs> you were uh, definitely. Oh, oh fuck. Yeah, there we go. Mom. Mom. Oh. Yeah. And it's Game Face Mom. I got, I, got, I, got, I, got, I got off the phone with my mom yesterday because, by saying that my ear hurt. And it was actually true. <laughs> it, it was the other year. <laughs> <laughs> you asshole. No, I, it, actually the other one is starting. Okay, to hold on. Let me better, actually so. let me actually talk about the Caesar Dragon here. Before you finish off the volcano, you'll have to get past the Caesar Dragon and his bony alter ego, it's, it's Zombo. Czar. Whatever. It's czar. It's 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 Russian. <laughs> but before you can even get to the dragon, you have to cross over the Bridge of Fire. The blocks won't stay put for long on Mario's way, pushing him towards the lava. He's a fatty. Jump quickly, avoiding the leaping pyrospheres, so you reach the relative safety of the far side. I the safety is only relative because the Caesar Dragon lies just ahead. When you meet the Serpent, be prepared with protective flame retardant clothing from Hinopia's store for each party member. The Caesar Dragon uses fire and sleep special attacks, so be sure to equip at least one party member with a wake-up pin. Oops. It also throws the dangerous water blast at your party. Why does the Caesar Dragon throw water blast at your party? I don't know, for some reason its name is Caesar. <laughs> Eventually, the Caesar Dragon wears down and turns into the even worse Zombone. The battle begins anew, but Zombone uses Storm and Blast, capable of hitting your characters for 60 and 80 HP, respectively. The Zombone is susceptible to ice attacks such as Snowy, Geno Beam, and Pure Water. For this reason, Geno should be in your party. Malice Thunderbolt and Snowy Special Attacks will also be useful, but Toadstool's healing capacity will be more important if you don't have a good supply of Mid Mushrooms. Did you guys hear how, how many words that he mispronounced in there? <laughs> So I did. <laughs> Hail Caesar, C Caesar Dragon. <laughs> you have a Caesar. <laughs> okay, so basically, you you want Mario, Geno, Gino, Gino, and Toadstool, but you took Bowser instead because you're a goop. Why? Well, I, I, I just that's just my party. You're a goopster. It's also because I don't know. You looked at it after I got to the fucking fight. <laughs> Sorry. Genius. No, Bowser's attack's not bad. Yeah, yeah, we'll be fine, we'll be fine. Don't worry about it. We have the fucking lazy shells. Come yeah. on, man. No, most lazy. people don't even know if they're Water there. Blast! Why does this make sense? <laughs> water bore. <laughs> why, why can a fire dragon made of lava pure, pour water on you? I get it. The oh. dragon is Tsar Nicholas and Mario is Vladimir Lenin commencing a people's revolution in Barrel Volcano. <laughs> Good, yeah. <laughs> da! <laughs> Moscow, Moscow. Dude, Rasputin just, just won't fucking die. <laughs> Dude, it's a different song. Oh, it's hot steam, you think? Boulder. Boulder, Colorado? Boulder, Volcano. <laughs> oh, excellent. Hey, Peach, I need you to do your job. Give us all group hugs. Zombone! He's crying. The showkeeper seems to be selling you the solution to the problem he knows is coming. It's a rigged system. <laughs> you see, like, Hinopio, Hinopio making a stump speech? The system is rigged for the billionaires of our country? <laughs> well, he's just, just lovingly caressing his giant diamond. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a cat made of diamonds. Oh, God. Or an actual cat that he covered in diamonds. The shopkeeper is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This guy's pretty easy, actually. He's got like 1800. It's not a big deal. He'll wear him down. <laughs> what? Oh god, like a co-ed past midnight. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, Dave. Is that how you spent your college years? <laughs> no, I was like a fucking virgin, man. <laughs> Goddamn bourgeois. <laughs> but you weren't a virgin during your first year, were you? Uh, yeah. Didn't you? You first banged at 19, right? 20. Oh shit. Yeah, man. I was out of university at that point. Wait, wait, so wait. You went through two years. Yep. That's one of the reasons why I was so bitter. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? I don't know. Like, I know, I know, I know. Okay. First year university is when there's just like yeah. pussy on tap, man. Yeah, guess what? 
none of the girls I was interested in. Okay, the girls, that, the girl I was interested in most, end up with another guy, and the girls that were interested in me, I just did not attractive. Wow. Yeah. Man, at fucking 19, it's not about finding a girl that you're attracted to. It's about just getting that first nut busted off. We're worried about the rest of it later, man. Dev, Dev, <laughs> try being raised in a Christian household. <laughs> then Dave talk, lost man. his virginity. Well, I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I first had sex when I was 14, though, so. Yeah, well, I, don't think, I don't think that's the average age for losing virginity anymore, dude. Well, I don't know. Oh, we didn't get it. Dave's doing with a fresh coat of white paint. Yeah, man. These fuckers. <laughs> Oh yeah, the Axum Rongers. <laughs> so Axum Red later became uh, a gay porn star. We got the star. Axum Green is now an MMA fighter. We're amazing. Axum Yellow died in a car crash. <laughs> We're unbelievable. I mean, <laughs> unbeatable. <laughs> Axum Pink. What happened to her anyway? The Pink Ranger from just painting obscurity. Just man. We're gorgeous. They like, just find her in, in a bar in Iowa. She's like, I used to be the pink ranger. <laughs> yeah, right. And then actually, you better leave now, Trump. There's no blue ranger, though. I know. This is funny. Oh, wow. You know what they're alluding to? The fact that green ranger's better. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Tommy. Look, man. it's the red star of the revolution. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> it's a quest for lost Russia. <laughs> actually, we got to cut, I think. Look at the time. Oh, yeah. Okay, we'll true. be back. Next we'll, time we're we'll going to come back with the fucking terrible Power Rangers ripoffs. Two minutes, guys. BRB. Bye.